Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm trying to help a young man with a breakdown fire pit. And so if you're a laser engraver, you could probably just stop watching now. You're probably not going to learn anything by this. So the person I'm doing the, the video for, there's a lot of problems in this drawing. If you look at the nodes in this circle, it's plasma cutting. This would be devastating. We're going to deal with that in just a second. But he wanted to make it where these tabs are for 11 gauge or 10 gauge metal. And originally I was thinking it was actually thicker. But if you take your parallel dimension tool and you measure across, you only come up with 0.11 of an inch. And 10 gauge metal would be 1.345 if I'm correct. So you could fix those tabs by drawing a new one. And let's see also how long it is. Get your parallel dimension tool and go straight up and it's 0.65 inches. That's going to work. That's not going to change. So with your ratio unlocked, let's go. Oh, it'd be the length 0.6 eight to give you a little cushion and you're going to want to test those cuts and we're going to go to 0.14 to um, give you a little playroom and i would also test this cut with another piece of metal that you have and then you could get away get rid of your uh, and whenever you have that happen you can select off the page and that's not only the only problem with that and then put it in the center and then rotate it to that same degree and you'll have that size of the tab but that's not the only problem with this let's move this out of the way and if you nudge you can always nudge it back a lot of these parts are drawn twice let's click on it i'm going to hit the delete key and it's still there so there's two lines on top of each other and in plasma cutting, that is going to kill you. So it's only got two copies. And then also you have this, somebody drew in this line, which is not needed. Take your virtual segment delete key and just delete that line. But we're not going to use that one anyway. So then you could just hit bring this in. And... If you ever have a part you just can't grab, that should grab, you could put this, go to a range, and put to the back of the page, and then you can grab that part. Well, you should be able to. You know what? There's two lines there. And I only put one of them to the back of the page. So you're going to move that one over. So let's nudge it out of the way and just delete the old one delete so you're gonna to have to do that for each tab but what's good about this you only have to do one of these because these are identical so you could just completely delete one of these parts of the jeep this is a pretty neat fire pit but you've got so many nodes and you can see right here the difference between the line that i i got rid of there's only one copy there where there's two copies here so what you could do to eliminate those nodes on that particular item would be to, and I've already deleted that little hash line. Let's delete that little hash line. Let's use the smart fill tool and fill that in and left click, right click. And you're still going to have the nodes though. So that's really not going to help us. But what it does do, you can get the size of that circle. And it's not perfectly round, so we're going to make it 3.119. So draw you a circle with your ratio locked. Draw you a circle, hold down your control button, and make it 3.119. Then you can delete this one. Well, shouldn't have done that yet. I should have nudged that over, but you could put it in the center and then nudge it over. And delete this 
delete this headlight and then nudge it back. And if you do it with red, then you've known which ones you fixed and the ones that you need to be fixing. And I can see right here, like I've already deleted that line. But if you look, that line looks darker, or at least it does on my screen. So just delete them. I'd already deleted a couple of them when I was playing around with it. But you can actually see that the darkness of the lines darker. And I would do the same thing. You're going to have to go through and get rid of all these things. All these little tie-ins. And let's see how many nodes this guy has. That's not too bad on a turn. You could get away with that. You could go here and reduce the nodes. And get less nodes. because it, But it does take away your shape. So let's just slide it just a little bit. And now you've only got a couple of nodes. And you maybe could delete that node. And that looks pretty good. And what's neat about this, once you've done both halves, so let's delete that line, take our shape tool, select all those, and let's just type in three like we did, and it deleted some of the nodes. Go ahead and delete that one Whoop. with the pick tool, or with the shape tool. Just delete, and there's like a double node there, and those aren't connected, but that'll work. That won't really go give any problems or should not in a plasma cutter. What is nice about this, you could turn this to red and just re, you've already done that to all these. So make a duplicate, control D, hold down your control button after you start moving it. And you've moved it. Now you can nudge it out of the way and delete that one. Grab it, and nudge it back and just do that. For all these. Now this one's a little bit different. Let's see how many nodes there are in this guy. This is going to take some more. Whoop. This has a lot of nodes. Let's do this. Let's encompass the whole thing. And type in three. I got rid of a lot of the nodes. These have a lot of nodes. And that's going to really cause you problems. But. And the other thing that's wrong besides double parts, uh, I don't understand this. The double lines, you're just cutting out a line. Uh, so it's not needed. You just need that circle right there. So I delete it and bring it back. And this isn't too bad. It's only got four nodes. The other thing is the letters. Let's zoom in here. It's got that same double line. I do not know, understand what that's for. That's all you need is the one set of lines. And then go back and delete these extra cuts. Whoop. Well, that particular time is not working. Let's see why it's not. Oh, it's, it's not a full shape. So what you could do is take your shape tool and join those two nodes. And then you could delete that and you'd have that line. So you need to do that for all your letters. See, that's just, there's not a complete, there's something missing. So I would grab your shape tool. There's actually two nodes there. Delete one of them and collect on that node and then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now these nodes aren't perfect. So if you will select them, go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. It's mine set on a half of an inch, and it made it a lot better shape, and it's joined now. So this is going to take a lot of work. Uh, once again, the, the two Jeep ends are the same. So you really only have to repair one of them. I would test these holes that you have. See, those are double lines. And make sure this hole, and see there's that, there's that hash line, and it's probably got a double line. I would take this line and measure it. So I'm going to come off the screen, and this line is, see, it's not perfectly round either. 
So you need to get your pen that you're going to use. And if that isn't big enough, you need to make your pen bigger or your hole bigger. Let's see how many nodes this thing has. It looks like it's got a lot. So there again, if you were going to redraw it, it's 0.1135, let's say. Just draw you, hold down your control button. And what, let's see what size it was again. 0.1137 with your ratio locked. 0.1137. Whoop. I was on that. Let's come off your page. 0.1137. And what's nice about this, you could put it right to the center of that. Nudge it out of the way. And I wouldn't have my nudge distance quite as big as I've got mine. Because it's completely off the page. I must have actually deleted it. Oh no, there it is. It's just little. So come off the item and then just nudge it back. And But you need to test that cut also to make sure that hole is big enough. And of course, with a hole like that, if it doesn't work quite as well, um, you could redrill it with a drill after it's drilled or after the plasma cutter cut it. Uh, same thing here. You've got a extra line. This is a, let's click on it and delete it. There were double line. This is a kind of hard for a plasma cutter to take that turn. I would almost redraw you another line, make it about the same thickness, same length, I mean, and then with your, actually it'd be a little bit better if it was a little bit thicker than he has it, but whoever drew this, and you could, you could measure that and get it dead on, but then just use your rounding corners and make sure your ratio up here is locked, and let's go 0.1. And there you have a much better line than the other one. And then you can just put it right where that one is and get rid of the, the bad one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And matter of fact, one more thought. You could delete all the circles. Because this is just for the air. You could delete them all. And when you get on something like that, you can go to range, order, back a page, and then when you click on the circles, you won't get them. And see, they're all double circles. And you could, and actually, that's why it's not back a page, because there's two lines. So bring this back, and you could delete all these lines, or all these circles. Could you, well, let me just do that real quick. Let's grab this thing. Let's grab all our parts and just nudge them off the page. Put this in the center of your page and just start with some new circles. You know, this is whatever size you could have measured the one before. And you could do a lot with it. Put it there and uh, change your nudge factor to, let's say, three inches. Nudge it over and down. Control D, Control D, Control D. That's not as, they're a little bit bigger than the ones before, but they're just for ventilation. Now, a good trick with this, I'd put in a few more, but you could select them all, group them all, and push P and put it in the center of the paint. So you could add in more circles and then just put them in the center. So, young man, you have a lot of work cut out for you. I hope this helped you a little bit. There's not that many tabs. Uh, these will be a lot easier because they're not on an angle. And matter of fact, you could grab this one and control D and make a duplicate and go right here and mirror it. And then you have that exact shape, exact size for that next one. And then you would just delete that center one. But I would turn all my shapes red so you'll know that they're, you've worked on them. So you can just right click your mouse. And then this is the same thing. You could redraw all this. This is 
maybe the I guess it's the uh, one at the end. You know, there's going to have two Jeep sides, and this is the front and that's the back. You could completely redraw that. I, I'm going a little bit longer than I normally like on a video for keep people's interest. And let's see how many nodes this has. It's not too bad. You could do the same thing. Reduce the nodes. Just type in three. You could delete a few more nodes, and then you could you could duplicate this guy all the way across. Matter of fact, let's just. I'm grabbing, so I'm going to come off this surface, and I'm going to delete all those. Then I'm going to take this one, Control D, start moving, and then hold down the Control button, and you could actually get it perfect. You know, put it right there. Put that one in the center. Let's use the nudge factor of three again. Nudge it over. Well, that's too far. Let's go nudge factor of one. Grab your item. Nudge it over. Nudge this one over, and that way they're in the center. And then you could actually grab both these. Go up to effects, blend, and say you want, you've already got two, let's say we want six, which would give you eight, and hit apply, back up, they were a little bit closer, let's go eight, and you've completely redrawn that with good, uh, better lines, but you also need to get rid of this line before you do that. And with that said, the blend didn't work because it's not a whole line. It actually messed up. So what I would do is take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Delete, just go up here and arrange. Let's do this. Take your pick tool and grab all these lines. Hit delete. Go up to arrange, I mean, and break blend apart. And then hit these center ones. And then repair that. You could do that with a smart fill tool. See if it leaks. Doesn't leak. Let's cursor it over. Let's left click. Right click. And by changing it red. And then cursor it back over. See I'm drawing off the subject to get it. Control D. Let's just delete this one. And for the video, let's say, I'm going to say it's, I'm just going to put it about right here. You'd want to move it like we did a while ago. Control D. Put it about even. And then grab these both. And something's not going on. Huh. The blend tool won't let me blend. Let me put this object to the back of the page. Order, back of page. See, there's a double line there. Hold down the shift key. Select the second one. And now let's put in our eight. And there you go. And you do the same thing for these other lines. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too confusing. And the one I'm helping, if you need some more help, just let me know. Thank you for watching.